All right, what up, guys? So today I'll be reviewing Super Dragon Ball Heroes Episode 1. As I'm recording this, the second episode has come out, but I have not seen it. Also, I wanted to mention that this could be a continuing series if uh, you guys like the uh, videos and, you know, comments a lot, interact with me. And yeah, lastly, if this continues as a series, I promise it won't take as long. And also for this one, it was kind of hard to get some translations for it, so I wanted to wait for that too. But yeah, next time it won't take that long. But anyways, let's begin. So the episode begins with Goku and Vegeta training with Whis, and then the plot evolves with the introduction of Mai, she's back, and I actually noticed some people were questioning how that happened, and to me it was pretty obvious that Few did it, and was probably there when Mai realized he was gone, um, you know, offered to bring them to Goku and Vegeta, and that's what happened. So interesting, in this scene we see that Goku and Vegeta are both wearing different designs for their outfits, uh, they resemble the Resurrection F outfits, but Goku's, for example, has the same, like, armbands, but everything else is kind of similar to what he normally wears. And then, um, he also has the Capsule Corp logo, and so does Vegeta. And I think the designs look pretty cool, not too different or anything, so that's, that's alright. Next, we have the Supreme Kai there. That was actually pretty weird. It's not explained why he's there, and why is he by himself without the other Kais. But he at least does explain that Future Trunks was supposed to arrive to uh, train with Goku, Vegeta, and Whis. So the thought of that happening, of them training, is really cool. But yeah, it's not really explained why the Supreme Kai is there. So immediately, Whis, Vegeta, and the Supreme Kai are all suspicious of Few. And interestingly, Goku is not suspicious. He kind of goes with it. And you could say that's his normal character. But, but later on in this video, I'll explain why that's interesting to me. So before they leave with Few to go investigate where Trunks is on the prison planet... Uh, it was also interesting how the Supreme Kai asked Mai a favor, but we never actually find out what that was, so if you guys have any theories on that, let me know, because that was just left blank, um, and I can't really think of anything, so yeah. So next, as soon as they arrive on the prison planet, Zeno Goku arrives, which was actually really, really cool, his design's awesome, and he actually has the power pole again, which is really cool. And so immediately upon seeing them, he, uh, charges in to basically fight them. Probably because Few was with them um, and not knowing if they were good guys or not. So he charges in there, but before doing so, he goes Super Saiyan 4, which was really awesome and all, but his power pole goes missing. So I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah, what happened to it? Did he just like move it to the side when we weren't looking? Uh, is it a magical one that goes in him when he transforms or what? Because that was, that was really weird. And I actually would like to see him use it. Um, I wonder how he would too. So yeah, hopefully the power pole comes back. So as the plot progresses, we find out that Zeno Goku actually knew about the uh, prison planet in Few and got himself caught on purpose. Uh, Few actually did catch on later on, and Few explains that he was the uh, basically the mastermind of the uh, prison planet. So as the scene continues on, Few explains how Future Trunks wasn't actually part of his experiments, but he actually did catch him so he could lure you. You could either be Goku and Vegeta or just one of them individually. Who really knows? It doesn't really explain it. And then from there we get the next scene, but before that I do want to discuss that the uh, basically the one minute battle that Goku, uh, Super Saiyan 4, and Super Saiyan Blue had was actually pretty cool. But like others have said, it does uh, kind of suck and it is kind of disappointing that it was just a minute, but what can they do? The, uh, the episode itself wasn't that long. So yeah, and I'm also not that worried because we do see more of that um, in the intro, so there might be new battles between them later on. And hopefully when they do that, we do get a scene, or maybe even the second episode, we do see either Zeno Goku or regular Goku ask about their, um, you know, Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan Blue forms, um, respectively, right? And maybe also Vegeta can uh, join in in that conversation. But at least how things are going right now, and things are kind of serious, so I understand they wouldn't do that immediately. And then from there, we're seeing a shot where Fuse uh, sitting down watching his uh, experiments, um, in the screens and we see Cooler, we see Goku and Vegeta with Zeno Goku, right, on that side. We see King Cold, Bojack, and even Alzato, which, that's really, really cool. That character never really did anything uh, besides the one video game he was in, um, and he's also introduced into the uh, card game now, so it's also cool that they're including him in this anime, and hopefully we do see him fight, I'm pretty sure we will. And in the monitors, we see that um, all the characters with the uh, blue outline or background rather, probably have Dragon Balls, uh, since we know for a fact uh, Cooler was one of those who had the uh, blue background, so it seems like he would have one since he already knows, um, and he demands trunks for it later on in the episode. And then we know that um, Zeno Goku uh, has one with Goku and Vegeta, right? And I feel like Zeno Goku would not have had one if he wasn't involved, but because a uh, few probably figured that they would be working together with Goku and Vegeta, he just gave it to them. 
And then in that same scene, we do see the new villain, Cumber, which is pretty interesting to me because he could be like a experimental Saiyan, not really a 100% Saiyan, more like something few made with um, basically the DNA he's uh, gotten from other characters and villains and stuff. Uh, so maybe he doesn't necessarily have the same abilities as Saiyans do. He probably has regeneration and that type of thing. And I would like to know if uh, you guys would want him to have stuff like that or just be a regular Saiyan. Also, since he's a new uh, villain, would you like him to have a unique Super Saiyan level? So like, would you guys like him to have a Super Saiyan Berserk form, maybe with a black aura or maybe something else entirely like a Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan Blue mix type of form? I think that would be really cool and hopefully they do play him out as an experiment. Something like that would be really awesome. Maybe giving him um, abilities like the Hellzone Grenade and maybe the Final Flash and all kinds of things like that would be really cool. Maybe the Kaioken even. And then next with the confrontation between uh, Cooler and Trunks, uh, Trunks clearly doesn't know about the Dragon Balls, which you need to leave the prison planet. And uh, Cooler seems to be uh, collecting them for the same purpose. And so I'm really excited for the next episode because I'm thinking, could we see a Golden Cooler versus Super Saiyan Rage Trunks? I think that would be really awesome. Um, we know for a fact that uh, Golden Cooler is in the video game, so um, introducing him here would be really cool against Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. Um, like, I know he's in the next episode, and I'm not sure what he does, but I'm not sure we actually get Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. And yeah, basically from there, we don't really get anything else in the episode, but um, I do want to point out that in the big uh, screen where uh, Cooler's in, and you see the blue background, he is partnered up there with Trunks, so that's probably just telling few um, who's going to fight each other for a Dragon Ball. And if you see, Trunks doesn't have the blue background, so he doesn't actually have one. Or at least that's what I think the um, the colors and stuff mean to few. And on that picture, Trunks was the smaller one, so yeah, that probably means that he's not the more important one with the Dragon Ball, so yeah. And lastly, we did see that uh, Mai was in the prison planet, so I wanted to bring up, do you guys think she would be uh, used as a hostage or anything like that? Would she be in danger? Because real quick, I was thinking how, you know, Bojack did do something like that with Zangya in his movie, uh, Movie 9. So they might use her for that. Uh, so, you know, Bojack can get uh, maybe their Dragon Ball. And, and then suddenly our heroes um, have one less than everyone else. And so, yeah, the episode wraps up. And besides that, all I gotta say is that the animation was good. I enjoyed the music and the intro music they had for that, too. So overall, I was impressed with the uh, direction and also the um, art style and stuff of the anime um i wasn't thinking that it would be that good but it's it's really cool that it is and uh, i will be continuing to watch the episodes and like i said if you guys want me to continue analyzing these things uh let me know leave a comment and to summarize let me know what you guys think about the possibility of golden cooler versus super saiyan rage trunks of course if you guys haven't seen the second episode so yeah um also what do you guys think about that power pole like what happened to it that's really interesting to me and yeah, that's basically all for today. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.